was moved for good, for the Lamb had conquered death, and the dead rose from their tombs, and the angels stood in King of kings, Lord of lords, we praise you this morning. Good morning, my brothers and my sisters. God bless you for coming out this morning to praise the Lord, our great and mighty God. Father, Lord, we thank you. Join me as we praise him this morning. He is the King of kings, the Lord of all. Oh, Lord, we worship you. Great and mighty God, you alone are worthy of all glory, of all honor and praise. Hallelujah be to your name, Lord, this morning. We thank you, our Father, for your living word, which transforms us and which we esteem more than our necessary food. Father, Lord, you are the God of life. We praise you for wisdom and might that are yours, Lord. We thank you. We delight ourselves in you this morning, Father. We say, Lord, you are our King. You are our God, our King. We adore you, Lord our king we worship you for you are seated on your mighty throne we lift up your name and give you praise this morning your kingdom rules over all your kingdom agenda is to advance your rule the visible manifestation of your comprehensive rule over everything you sit on high and lifted up and thrown above everyone and everything you are king we humbly bow before you to offer you our praise, honor, and adoration. God, our King, we ask for your pardon and forgiveness for not always giving you the honor due you as King. Please forgive us for the many times we have praised our own agenda rather than advancing your kingdom agenda. Grant us mercy, God, our King. For seeking to reign where you should rightly reign and for turning to our own ways rather than to yours forgive us for not using your word as a guide in every decision that we make forgive us lord our king king of glory we come to you this morning with thanksgiving and restore you with praise you are the great king above all kings and the great God above all gods. We enter into your courts with thanksgiving, and we come into your presence with a heart of gratitude. Thank you for choosing us as an heir to your kingdom, for making us your child of the king. We are children of the king by virtues of our relationship with you through your son, Jesus Christ. We are entitled to all the spiritual blessings you have for us in your kingdom. Thank you for your abundant favor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord, this morning we are asking you to give us a kingdom mindset. Help us to advance your kingdom agenda on earth. 
This is another day, another opportunity you are giving to us, Lord. Give us wisdom to understand what it really means to pray that kingdom come. Give us that wisdom. And that will be done. Help us. Help us turn off distractions that take away from time that rightly belong to you. You are our king. You are our Lord. Lord, we pray, may we be fully equipped to serve you and your kingdom in the way you desire and deserve. Show us the spoils of your kingdom and share with us the beauty of your provision, Lord, this morning. We have come into your presence. Blessed be to your name, Lord. Hallelujah be to your name this morning. In the name of Jesus. Now let us pray this for ourselves individually this morning. I turn to the priestly prayer this morning, which is said, May the Lord make his face shine upon thee this morning. Pray that, Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to pray this part of the priestly prayer. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. Pray it for yourself. May the Lord make his face shine upon me, upon my family, upon my household this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray and ask the Lord, Lord, let the spirit of prayer and supplication envelop my life right now, Lord. As I have come into your presence this morning, Holy Spirit divine, let the spirit of prayer and supplication envelop my life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let your face never be hidden from me in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my Father. Let your face never be hidden from me and my household this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your face never be turned away from me, O oh Lord my God. This morning I pray, Father God, let your face never be turned away from me, King of glory. Let your face never be turned against me. Pray this morning. That's Lord. I want your face to shine upon me. Let your face never be turned against me. Let your face never be turned against my, my loved ones, Lord, I pray. Let your face shine brightly upon me throughout this year in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, my Father. Let your face shine brightly upon me and my household throughout this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, this passage says, this is how you should bless the children, my people. Bless them with this word. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. And I'm doing the same thing this morning. May the Lord make his face shine upon you this morning. Pray that, Lord, let the brightness of your light drive away darkness from inside and around my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father. Let the brightness of your light drive away darkness from inside and around my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, this morning, let the brightness of your light drive away every darkness from inside and around my life, around my children, right from their inside out, O oh Lord. Let your bright light drive away darkness in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord. Let your goodness, your favor, and mercy begin to future prominently in my life, in the life of my loved ones, in the life of my children, my son-in-law, my daughter-in-law. Oh, gracious Father, I bring every member of my household to you this morning. Let your goodness, your favor, and mercy begin to future prominently in my life. In, the, in our life as a family, oh Lord, my Father, on this prayer platform, I pray, let the brightness of your light, your, your goodness, your favor, and your mercy begin to future permanently in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. As the pillar of fire gave life to Israel in the wilderness, Lord, let your light show us the way for the rest of our life in the name of Jesus. Pray this prayer this morning. That's oh Lord, my Father. You are the same, the unchangeable God. The same yesterday, today, and forever. Then so, Father, as the pillar of fire gave life to Israel in the wilderness, 
Let your light show me the way for the rest of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, we lift our children before you this morning. The generation coming behind us, Father. Lord, we are asking you, Lord, that as the pillar of fire gave life to Israel in the wilderness, oh Lord, in the wilderness of life, Father, that we're in, let your light show each and every one of oh Lord the way to the rest of our lives life in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, this morning, pray, let me begin to have great favor with God and man in the name of Jesus. I ask God, Lord, this morning, let me begin to have great favor with God and man. Let my children begin to have great favor with God and man in the name of Jesus Christ. Is there a special child this morning that you think that need God's favor? Mention the name of that child. Tell the Lord that, Lord, this my child, this my son, this my daughter, Lord. I want you, Father, God, to show him great favor with you and with man in the name of Jesus. Let this my daughter, let this my child or my grandchildren begin to have great favor with God and with man in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. You are the God that blesses us and you surround us with favor as with a shield. So, Father God, we pray this morning, let us begin to have great favor with you and with man in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, from now on, let all that look upon me be completely be compelled to favor me. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, from now on, let all that look upon me be compelled to favor me. Oh Lord, let them be compelled to favor me. In the name of Jesus Christ, let all that look upon my children from now on onward, oh Lord, be compelled to favor them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, whether at work, at home, in the city, in the town, wherever they are, let all that look upon them be compared to favor them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, from henceforth, let your favor, your mercy and goodness bring both deserve and undeserved blessing my way in the name of Jesus Christ. As the Lord this morning, oh Lord our God, this morning, you are the king. King of kings, Lord of all, from henceforth, O oh Lord, let your favor, your mercy, and your goodness bring both deserve and undeserved blessing my way and my children's way in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, for every one of us on this prayer platform this morning, O oh God, we are asking you in your mercy, let from henceforth, let that favor, mercy, and goodness bring both deserve and undeserved blessings our way in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we pray. Begin to cause people to favor us without a cause. In the name of Jesus Christ, ask the Lord this morning. You do not have to do anything before they favor you because it is the blessings of the Lord that make rich and had no sorrow this morning. It is the Lord who blesses the righteous and, and surrounding with favor. It is the Lord this morning because the blood of Jesus has made us to be righteous. So, Father, we ask this morning, begin Begin to cause people to favor us without a cause. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord our God, from now onward, compare bad people to be good to us. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes, we have this story. They report them. They say they are bad. But Father Lord, when they see us, oh Lord, they will be compared because they are your creation as well. So Father God, you can turn their heart unto you, Lord, to do good to us. In the name of Jesus. So Father, I pray. From now onward, compare bad people, whether at place of work, in the neighborhood, even in the household. Compare them to be good to us. In the name of Jesus Christ, compare bad people to be good to my children, to my grandchildren, wherever they are, at school, at work, at home, oh Lord, in the city, in the town, wherever they are, oh Lord. Compare bad people to be good to them because they will obtain favor in the eyes of man, in the eyes of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, compare merciless people 
to be merciful to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, no matter whom they are, you are they are the creation of your hand. So, Father God, this morning, compel merciless people to be merciful to me, to be merciful to my children in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray this morning that, oh Lord, because the heart of the king are in your hand, to turn it to wherever you are. And you are the king of kings, the Lord of all. So, Father, this morning, compel merciless people to be merciful to me, to be merciful to my children in the name of Jesus Christ because you are the God of mercy you will show us mercy no matter whom, no matter what, this morning Father, we are asking for your mercy, so Father God show us your mercy, we are asking for mercy, God of mercy whoever, whatever, that need to show us that mercy this day Lord God Almighty, compare them to show mercy, to be merciful unto us and to our children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray that, Father, things that I don't ask for, let your mercy begin, your favor begin to give them to me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I may not know that I need it, but, Father God, I'm asking this morning, because my eyes are maybe focused. I have narrow focus this morning. But Father God, you know the best for me. And I pray that things that I don't ask for, let your favor begin to give them to me. Lord, I pray this morning for my children. Lift them up this morning. For my household, for my spouse. This morning, Father, I ask, oh Lord, that things that they don't ask you for, let your favor begin to give them to them. Give them, oh Lord. Because you know that they need it, Father. To the glory of your name, Lord, this morning we're asking you things that we don't ask for. Let your favor begin to give them to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Things that we don't struggle for, let your goodness, your favor, and mercy begin to give them to us, O oh Lord our God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, favor of God. Because when you make your face to shine upon us, this is what will happen, Father. Lord, this morning, make your face to shine upon us that things that we don't struggle for, let your goodness, your favor, and your mercy begin to give them to us in the mighty name of jesus christ in jesus name pray this morning that my father let me begin to see your goodness in every area of my life oh lord you are a good father your goodness oh lord never come to an end your mercy endure forever so father let me begin to see your goodness in every area of my life oh lord my father in the name of jesus in my place of work in my career in my business in my marriage in my relationship in my my ministry lord let me begin to see your goodness in every area of my life in my life of my children as a parent father as a wife as a husband this morning pray that father god let me begin to see your goodness in every area of my life in the name of jesus christ as the lord this morning that my father let what has worked against me in the past Work for me from now onward. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, you are the God, the God that changed story. So, Father God, change my story. Let what has worked against me in the past begin to work for me from now onward. Oh Lord, my Father, for my children, I leave them all before you this morning. Let what has worked against them in the past begin to work from them on. From thy own word, O oh Lord my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let my blessings not come from sweat only, but let them begin to come mostly from your goodness, from your favor and your mercy, in the name of Jesus Christ. We are not saying we should be lazy. Yes, we will work. But Father God, let my blessings not come from sweat only. But Lord, let them begin to come mostly from your goodness, from your favor and your mercy, in the name of Jesus Christ. That is why some of us, oh Lord, we do eight hours a week, one twenty hours a week, no rest. 
But Father God, this morning we are asking you that Father God, let our blessing not come from sweat alone, but let them begin to come mostly from your goodness, from your favor and your mercy, O oh Lord. We lift our children before you. They pursue this, they pursue that, they pursue this. But Father God, I pray, help them, O oh Lord, to trust in you. That, O oh Lord, that their blessing will not just come from sweat alone, but that they will begin to come from from, mostly from your goodness and your favor and your mercy towards them in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that my Father, from now onward, let me find ease and comfort in every area of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, from now onward, let me find ease and comfort in every area of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, from now onward, oh Lord, let me find ease and comfort in every area of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to pray that, Father, where I deserve judgment, let mercy overrule judgment for me, O oh Lord. O oh, Father God, where I deserve judgment, where my children deserve judgment, God of mercy, let mercy overrule judgment, O oh Lord, for us this month, this year, this month, O oh Lord, this day, Father, begin with this day, begin with this moment, Father God. Let your mercy overrule judgment for us, O oh God. Where we deserve judgment, Father, we ask for mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord our God, we are asking this morning, let our blessing not come from warfare. Let them come from your goodness, your favor and mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, know that I have to fight, 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 pray, pray, pray. But Father God, we are asking you this morning, let your, our blessing not come from warfare, but oh Lord, let it come from your goodness alone in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, let us ask, Father, let your goodness, your favor, and mercy follow me everywhere I go. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, let your goodness and mercy follow me everywhere I go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. And with that tone, we're going to ask the Lord this morning. That, Father, I thank you for this wonderful morning. Thank you for this morning, Lord God Almighty. Lord, I'm asking, bringing this morning before you. Ask the Lord this morning. Lord, I command my morning to scatter every evil coalition against my destiny, against my children's destiny in the name of Jesus. This morning, Father God, I command my morning to scatter every evil coalition against my destiny this morning, against my children's destiny this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus, speak good things into my morning in the name of Jesus. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Blood of Jesus Christ, speak good things into my morning. Speak good things into my children's morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus, speak good things into my morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray, you agent of demonic gang of against my life this morning. Be frustrated. Be frustrated by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. You agent of demonic gang up against my life, against my children's life this morning. Be frustrated. Be frustrated by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil thing done against me by evil coalition force this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not succeed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray that as I start this morning, O oh Lord, empower me to overcome evil powers in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, this morning, as I start this morning, oh Lord, my Father, empower me to overcome all evil powers in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, arise and fight for me until the last enemy of my morning is frustrated. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, blood of Jesus, arise and fight for my children until the last enemy of our morning is frustrated. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I pour the blood of Jesus into my, the foundation 
this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over my life, over my children's life in the name of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus, I take divine insurance against any form of accident and tragedy in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, any power assigned to hinder me this morning, lose your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power assigned to hinder on this prayer platform this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, I cry against you and I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power assigned to hinder anyone on this prayer platform this morning, I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, our Lord and our God, because we are blessed today. Hallelujah. We have come into your presence, we, and we will receive. In your presence is abundance of joy and pleasure forevermore. For this, O oh Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, our Father. Hallelujah be to your name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us hear what the Word of God has to tell us this morning from 1 Corinthians I just want us to listen carefully. I will read 1 Corinthians chapter 1 from verse 18 to the end. It says, For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. The intelligence of the intelligent, I will frustrate. Where is the wise person? Where is the teacher of the law? Where is the philosopher of this sage? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since the wisdom of the God, the world through his wisdom did not know him, God was pleased through the foolishness of what was preached to save those who believe. Jews demand signs, and Greeks look for wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those whom God has called, both Jews and Greek, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. Brothers and sisters, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. God chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are, so that no one may boast before him. It is because of him that you are in Christ Jesus, who has become for us wisdom from God. This is our righteousness, holiness, and redemption. Therefore, it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Let the one who boasts, no matter who you are, no matter what you are becoming, let your boast be in the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is all wise God. God's wisdom in his unique ability to so interrelate his attributes that he accomplished his predetermined purpose by the best means possible. But, uh, Apostle Paul make this clear in Ephesians 1.8 where he says that God's purpose is the summing up of all things in Christ. Jesus Christ is the wisdom of God. Just as we saw just, you know, yesterday, we talked about the glory of God. Paul is saying that Christ became to us wisdom from God. God's wisdom is seen in the plan he 
device for our salvation. None of us would have come up with the plan God did. In our wisdom, we would have made it much more confusing, complex, and inequitable. We would have devised a layaway plan or an ant your way to heaven scheme. But God, in his wisdom, came up with a salvation that is free to all and available to all by sending his son to die for our sin. Yet, the cross looks foolish to a dying world that is depending on his own wisdom. That is why Paul is saying, the foolishness of God is wiser than men. God has chosen the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. Why? So that no man should boast before God. He chooses what seems to be foolish and the weak to accomplish his purpose. So that he won't share his glory with anyone. So God doesn't look just for the wise and the powerful. But he calls any wise or powerful to, to himself. And of course, he does. A noble woman once told the British preacher, John Wesley, that she was saved by an hem. Wesley wanted to know what she meant. He says, God says not many noble can be saved. He did not say not any. She replied, smart lady. So you see, wouldn't it be great to tap into God's wisdom to help you live your life today? You can. Just ask him for it. James says, if anyone lack wisdom, let him ask. Anyone lack wisdom, let him ask. Verse 25 says, For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. No matter how powerful you think you are, no matter how strong you think you are, just know God's power, God's strength is higher than that. So the message of Christ's death for sins sound foolish to those who don't believe. Death seemed to be the end of the road. The ultimate witness, but Jesus did not stay dead. His resurrection demonstrated his power even over death. And he will save us from eternal death and give us everlasting life if we trust him as Savior and Lord. This sounds so simple that many people won't accept it. They will rationalize it. You have to do something in order to be saved. They try other ways to obtain eternal life. Like being good, being wise. But all their attempts will not work. The foolish, quote unquote, they think they are foolish people who simply accept Christ's offer are actually the wisest of all. Because they alone will live eternally with God. I would rather be fool for Christ than be wise in the world. Are you being wise in your own eyes? By rejecting the free gift of salvation. We are not saying, maybe you are trying to walk your way and try to do this, do that. Mm -mm, you will be disappointed at the end. So reconsider. Tap into God's wisdom. And the God's wisdom is Jesus Christ, our Lord. So let us pray this morning. Let us thank the Lord this morning. Praying daily for wisdom is a wise thing to do. It's a wise thing to do. Proverbs, it says, does not wisdom call out? Indeed, God's wisdom does call out. And those who respond possibly and prayerfully to this call find blessing and favor from the Lord. So pray with me this morning that Almighty God, I humbly ask 
that you will fill me with the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you. Oh, Father God, we come before you this morning. Open the eyes of our hearts, Lord, to see truth more clearly. Father Lord, we ask that you will sharpen our spiritual discernment to distinguish good from evil. Lord, this morning we ask, help us not to lean on our infinite understanding, but to trust wholeheartedly in your infinite wisdom. Lord, grant us a longing to grow in intimacy with Christ in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Father Lord, let wisdom from above flow through each and every one of us, day in and day out, O oh Lord, in our thoughts, in our words, in our action, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray for God's wisdom, for discernment this morning so that we'll be able to distinguish truth from deception. Ask the Lord this morning. Lord, I ask you, we are asking you together for a wise and discerning spirit to perceive truth from deception in this world. Father God, we're asking you that you will give us ability to recognize the devil's schemes meant to mislead us. Oh Lord, guide our heart from failure Falling prey to empty philosophies and distortion of your word, Lord. And for this, Lord, we lift our children before you this morning. Some of them, oh Lord, have been deceived. They are falling prey to the dis emptiness of philosophies and distortion of your word, oh Lord. Bless Father God, let them turn to you this morning. Equip us to test ideas and teaching against the plumb line of your unchanging truths, Lord. Show us how to demolish argument and every pretension that sets itself against the knowledge of God. Father, we pray this morning. Oh Lord, replace each lie with rock solid conviction of truth, oh Lord. In each and every one of us this morning. And especially for our young ones, Lord. Thank you, Father, for the mind of Christ to reveal wisdom and discernment. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Lord. I want us to pray for wise counsel. Let us ask God for God's wisdom for those who advise and guide you this morning. Some of us have our mission, our ministry as counselor. We give counsel in every way, whether at work, in every way. You may not be appointed as counselor, but you give advice. So pray this morning that, Lord, I pray for people in my life who offer wise counsel, who give direction and spiritual leadership. Father, Lord, we thank you for them this morning. Grant them heavenly wisdom far beyond their natural abilities, Lord. Give them the insight to perceive issues clearly and speak into circumstances, into our circumstances with accuracy and truth. And if you are a counselor, ask the Lord this morning that Father God, give me the insight. Insight to perceive issues clearly and speak into any circumstances with accuracy and truth. Lord, we pray, help them to discern right from wrong and pure from polluted. In the name of Jesus Christ. Make them bold yet humble, Father. Make them confident, yes, grace-filled. Make their counsel align perfectly with your word and will for their life and for my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for placing these voices in my life. And thank you, Lord, for making me to be a voice as well in the life of other people. Thank you, Father. Let us thank him this morning. You don't know. Somebody just call you, you reply, you give advice. Oh, I think this is what you are a counselor. Thank you, Father, for placing these wise voices in my life. 
and for also making me to be part of their life in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know you have an issue this morning. God of wisdom. Let us tap into that wisdom this morning. We need a decision. Holy Spirit is our helper. Ask him this morning, Holy Spirit, we need your wisdom in making decisions that impact our life and our loved ones. In the name of Jesus, we ask that each choice be worthy and the way unclear. But you are the wonderful counselor who light our path with clarity. Holy Spirit, we're asking you that to open doors we should walk through and close the one to avoid in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Holy Spirit, this morning we're asking you, close the door, close the door that we should not walk into and open the door for us, the door that we should walk through. Open it in the name of Jesus. We pray for our loved one this morning, Holy Spirit. We are asking that you will guide them, that you will lead them, that you will open doors that they should walk through. And you close the ones to avoid in the name of Jesus Christ. Give each one of us wisdom to discern the best timings and motives in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray. This morning, help us to see past our own biases and selfish desires. Instead, Lord. Illuminate the wisest and most honoring choice in your sight. Holy Spirit divine, we are asking you. We are asking you. Thank you for your, that your wisdom guides us into what is true, into what is noble, into what is right, into what is holy, into what is lovely and admirable. Hallelujah be to your name. Thank you, blessed Holy Spirit. We thank you. We bless your name. Our Father in heaven, we're asking you this morning that you renew our mind with wisdom from above. We renew our mind, O oh Lord, with wisdom from above in the name of Jesus Christ. Let our thoughts reflect your pure and perfect truths, O oh Lord. This morning, let our children's thoughts reflect your pure and perfect truth in the name of Jesus Christ. Uproot any lies, any bitterness or arrogance that have taken hold of us, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us ask the Lord this morning. Uproot any lies, any bitterness or arrogance that have taken hold. Replace anxiety with trust in your sovereignty, Lord. We pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, rid us of insecurity, rid us of jealousy and greed that oppose your ways. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we ask that you help us to take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord our God, we ask this morning, Reprogram how we perceive all situations through your vision. Lord, reprogram how we perceive all situations through your vision. Let your spirit retain us to respond with meekness, integrity, and righteous anger at evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, this morning, transform our thinking to reflect godly wisdom in every area of our life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord our God, we come for wisdom this morning because James said, if we lack, we shall ask. So Father Lord, in every aspect of our life, we're asking for wisdom. Transform our thinking to reflect godly wisdom in every area of our life. In the name of Jesus Christ. We need wisdom for our relationship, oh Lord to nurture godly connection, to navigate relationships in a way that honors you. So, Father Lord, we ask that you give us insight to discern healthy connections from ones that may prove toxic or draining. Oh, give us that wisdom. Give us that wisdom, oh Lord, our God, this morning. We're being honest with you. Some of us, we have soaked ourselves we put ourselves in that situation, toxic and draining relationship. 
Help us to see ourselves and others rightly, not being deceived by mere appearances and status, Lord. This morning, Father God, teach us how and when to build closer bonds or pull away when necessary. Grant us words to speak life and encourage, yet also confront sin redemptively, Lord our God, this morning. We need wisdom. Above all, help us love others unconditionally. Even those who slight or oppose us, help us to love them. Put that love in our hearts. Because of our own flesh, we not allow us to love them. But Father, we are asking for a transformation to love others unconditionally in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, there are those of us who are still parenting. Even those of us who know, have emptiness, we are still parenting in one way or the other. We are asking for wisdom this morning. Raising children in your truth seems daunting without heavenly wisdom. So, Father, we ask that you grant us insight and grant, oh Lord, we pray for our young, young, uh, young couples, young parenting, Lord, this morning. In this world and age of technology, it's difficult to raise children up. So, but Father, we're asking you for wisdom. That you will grant each and every parent insight beyond our years to instill godly character and biblical conviction. Show us how to discipline with love. Father, Lord, grant us, give to us win some ways to make faith real and not just rules to make it real to let them know that this is real it's not just rule. don't 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 do 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 no lord help us to model integrity first before correcting inconsistency help us father god supply wisdom to guide decisions on their academic path because some of our young ones, oh Lord, they are out of school now. They are going, some are getting out of high school, going to college. Some are getting out of college, going to master or another step, or going to the world to look for their career pathway. Lord, our God, this morning we're asking you, supply wisdom to guide decisions on their academic path on the friends, on the entertainment, and much more, Lord. Prepare us for each new phase, Lord. Prepare each and one, from toddler to teen and beyond. Prepare each one, O oh Lord, above all, Lord. We ask that you will make us a living example of your wisdom at home each day. Make us a living example, Lord, for these children. Even for our spouse, for our friends, oh Lord, make us a living children of your wisdom at home each day in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask wisdom for our leadership, oh Lord, to lead with integrity. Christ our Lord, you are our king as a leader in this world. We desperately need your wisdom to lead rightly. Help us see reality from your eternal perspective, not just earthly circumstances. Lord, we pray that you give us conviction of your will and timing. Lord, grant profound wisdom to handle challenges well, whether opposition, whether criticism, or conflicts. We ask, O oh Lord, for those of us who are in leadership, whether in our place of work, at all, or in the body of Christ, Father Lord, make us quick to listen, slow to speak rashly, and slow to hunger. Instill humility to admit wrong quickly. Supply courage to confront sin and hypocrisy without self-righteousness, Lord. Above all, help us seek first your kingdom and point all to you as the highest leader in your name, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ.
in the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord. We know every aspect of our life we need wisdom. We need wisdom, oh Lord, concerning our finances. You are our provider. You are our Jehovah Jireh, gracious provider. We ask for wisdom in how we handle the financial resources you have entrusted to us. Oh, yes, Lord. Some of us claim that, yes, I've worked for this. It's my money. I've labored for this, so it's mine. No, Lord, you will know it's not ours. We are asking you this morning, uproot any greed, greed, uproot envy or selfish ambition within us regarding money. Father, I ask again, or put any greed, envy, or selfish ambition within us regarding money. Convict and guide us when thoughts or habits lack stewardship. Grant us this willpower to live simply, to give generously, and spend intentionally. Lord, we ask, O oh Lord God Almighty, help us plan and save wisely, yet not hard selfishly. We are asking you, make managing debt and investment God honoring and ethical in our life, Father God. May wisdom govern all transactions, budgets, and accounts. Above all, Father, we ask that you will keep us aligned with your purpose in every dollar entrusted to our care. In the name of Jesus Christ. We seek for wisdom in our place of work. To excel in our work. Lord, we desire to work with wisdom. We desire to work with integrity and excellency that bring glory to you, Father God. So, Father, some of us are coming from work. We are just coming. Some of us are ready to step out to go into that place of work. We are asking you, Father, that you will grant us heavenly insight for the task at hand. Let all that we produce be technically and ethically admirable in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, supply motivation to complete each assignment diligently. Make us a team player who uplift others and resolve conflict with grace, Lord our God, this morning. Help us balance priorities between career, rest, family, and ministering to others. Lord, we are asking you, guide us in interactions with supervisors and subordinates alike. Father God, provide opportunities aligned with our skills and passion. And above all, make our workplace an extension of your kingdom purpose. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, our Lord and our God. Lord, we cannot leave your presence without asking you to grant us wisdom in how to let others know about this faith that we have in you, sharing the gospel with them. You are the most high God. We ask for wisdom in sharing the gospel, the good news, O oh Lord. We pray, Father God, let our life be a witness to Christ's transformative power in the name of Jesus Christ. Give us boldness as we proclaim the gospel, yet not in arrogance, but in love. Father, we ask you, help us to season our words with humility, with gentleness and respect. Father God, we ask this morning that you grant us discernment for timing, for contest, and questioning unbelief in wise way. Oh Lord, our God, this morning, supply insight into the doubt of backgrounds of those we approach. Make us quick to listen and eager to understand. Use us to explain the hope within with clarity. And above all this, Lord, oh Lord, let wisdom shape our witness so lives are impact, so that lives are impacted for eternity in the name of Jesus. 
Lord, we bless your name this morning. You are the all-knowing God, all-knowing God. Thank you, mighty Father. We ask you, because there are other things we have not mentioned that are too complex even to say it on our own, which we do not understand. So, Father, Lord, for that we are asking for wisdom in any complex situation with difficult decision to make, Lord. Lay out the path clearly where so many variables and unknowns cloud our judgments. Father God, we ask that you will grant us discernment to see through deception, manipulation, or partial truth influencing us. Father, expose any ulterior motives or hidden agenda at play and we can, that we cannot perceive. Help us look far ahead to understand all potential consequences, both intended and unintended. Heavenly Father, this morning we ask that you grant us stability to our thoughts, to our speech and demeanor under pressure. Oh, Lord, our Father, we are asking you, Lord, nudge our hearts to align with your sovereign will in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, Lord, our God, for the blessings of today. Oh, glory, honor, and power be unto you. Thank you, Father, because we've asked for wisdom, and we thank you for wisdom will guide us. Wisdom will lead us. Wisdom will reign and rule. And the wisdom of God is the Lord Jesus Christ. He's our Lord, he's our Savior, in whose name we pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. For those of us who are able, you have the time, 15 minutes exercise after we log out. You can stay behind. God bless.